Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Today we're going to do a slightly different video than we normally do. We're going to talk about concealed carry. You know, throughout the time we've had our channel, we've had various different questions, comments regarding, you know, can I carry this, can I carry that? And, you know, some, some definite thoughts on what you can and can't carry. One of the things that we found is if you adjust how you dress, and you can still look nice, and, and no, we're not going to turn this into a fashion show, but if you adjust how you dress, it really opens up a lot of capabilities of what you can and can't carry. And if you've got a budget that only allows one gun or a legislative environment that only allows one gun, you're going to have to choose a compromise. But if you're in a locale or of a budget that you can have more than one gun, you actually have the flexibility with different clothing to carry more than one different kind of gun. So before I start, and I, you know, this is a gun video, so I know you're looking at me and figuring out he's got a gun there, he's got a gun there, and you're expecting guns to come out of everywhere. Um, and I won't disappoint you. But one of the things I'll mention right up front before I start, like all of our videos, every gun we handle has been safety checked by both of us individually uh, before we start the filming. So we know that every gun that's present and visible uh, or that's going to be handled uh, is clear. And today's no exception, but what I'm not going to do is bore you with showing clear on every single gun I pull out. Both Hammer and myself have safety checked both these guns, and I have no loaded weapons on me, and there's none in the, in the vicinity. So now that we've got that part taken care of, let's go ahead and look at what I'm wearing. Not stylish, but not bad. i got black cargo shorts on and, and a t-shirt. And the thought might be that I'd be very limited in what I can carry. But I've actually got quite a few things that I'm carrying. And you look at my pockets and you might say, oh, there's a gun in each pocket. So let me pull one out. Now, that's a cell phone. That little block you saw in my pocket is a cell phone. And that's one of the things to think about when you go out is that most people that aren't carrying guns are not overly observant. They're, you know, they may look at you, and if it's not obviously shaped like a gun or they don't see a handle sticking out, they're probably not going to recognize whether what it is that they're looking at is a gun or not. And I know years ago when we first started carrying, I, was, I could have sworn the first time I went out I had a gun tattooed on my forehead and that everybody could see I was carrying. Uh, the trip was uneventful. I was carrying a Glock 26 in my pocket at that time. Nobody bothered me, I didn't bother anybody, and, and we came and went. So what you look at is, you know, choose clothing that fits the type of gun that you choose to carry, and if you've got a requirement that forces you to wear a certain type of clothing, you might have to adjust what you carry or how you carry it. So in this case with these cargo pants, I could also pull a Glock 29. This is a 10 millimeter, one of Glock's more powerful guns, and I was able to carry it comfortably in the pocket of these shorts without it showing. Now. Just to make sure you know, I did have a pocket holster that covers the trigger. It's real important, no matter how you carry, what you carry, where you carry it, that the trigger is covered. That way, when you're going to get it or just fishing around for your keys, you don't accidentally pull the trigger and fire the gun. And you'll also notice that there was nothing in this pocket but the gun. There's no keys in there, there's no coins, there's nothing else I could want from that pocket besides this gun. So, you know, look at me, and okay, well he's done. You know, there's, the belt's too tight, the shirt's tucked in, there's no more guns on that body. Well, you might be wrong, because I've got a Glock 42 and some concealed carry underwear. It's underwear with pouches in it that, you know, cover the trigger, that are designed for concealed carry, and allow me to carry, you know, a little mouse gun pocket 380. Or, if that's not good enough, I could carry this Glock 26, which is a double stack 9mm. So, with what I was wearing here, with a tucked in shirt, I had three guns on me and was able to easily conceal them. So where you run into is, and, I'll, and you know, you know, a little bit later I'll show you a couple other possible combinations for like business, you know, business dress and stuff like that. But you can carry what you want to carry if you're willing to make slight changes to what you wear and coordinate what you're carrying to what you're wearing. So let me go get changed, I'm going to get dressed up like I was going to go to work, and show you a couple other options. Okay, so I've gotten dressed up like I would go to work, and, and like a lot of people these days, work in an area, in an environment that's business casual, so polo shirt, golf shirt type thing, and khaki pants is the dress code. So standing here, I can easily conceal a smaller pistol. I'm not going to put the Glock 29 in these pockets, if I did, it, it would be obvious print. Now these kind of pants are kind of the worst case scenario for concealing because if you tighten up your leg, it will start to print 
kind of looks almost like a gun, but not quite. It you know, could be just about anything. But as soon as they stand normal, I'm okay. So if I were to sit someplace where I had my legs under a desk, I'd be okay, but I might have to pay attention to what I'm doing when I get up and sit down. But what I've got in this pocket is a little car, P380. Now, it's not the most powerful gun on the planet, but it's definitely the P380 in your hand is much better than the Desert Eagle in the safe because you've actually got it on you. Now, I've got my shirt, you know, kind of loosely tucked in, kind of, you know, out just a little bit at the base. It doesn't look out of order. I don't have my shirt hanging out. Uh, nobody would really pay attention to me in a business casual. You know, if I turn around, I, I, I look pretty normal. But I can pull my shirt out, and what I've got available to me at the back is that Glock 42 you saw and that Glock 26 you saw. Now, I didn't do a proper firing grip on these. You know, you'd want to practice with getting the shirt out in a seamless manner and getting your grip and pulling them out. Whatever carry solution you come up with, obviously you want to practice with an unloaded gun. You want to use a mirror to determine just how much it prints. But look at printing from the standpoint of an ordinary person looking at it, would they recognize it as a gun? Or would it just look like you're a pack rat and you got a bunch of stuff in your pockets? You know, wallets, cell phones, all those kinds of things are commonly carried by people. So if the shape doesn't look like a gun, then you're probably in pretty good shape. And, I, and again, I'll note, pocket holster, covers holster of that P380. So then, of course, you've got all your conventional inside the waistband. But a lot of people, you know, when they think of concealed carry, they think of the only option is a big bulky inside the waistband holster. And with today's technology, today's guns, and careful choices of clothing, there's lots of options available for carrying what you want to carry or what you need to carry in a manner that will work with what it is you want to or need to dress. But you may have to be willing to be a little flexible. Jeans tend to be pretty much incompatible with a lot of concealed carry strategies. The other thing that we often do when we're buying new different clothes is we'll reach into the pocket and see how deep the pocket is. And just measure how far it goes in on your hand and use that to determine whether or not it goes deep enough to carry the kind of gun you want to carry. If you've got pants with really, really shallow pockets and you want to pocket carry something, well, that's just not going to work. And you can easily do that when you're at the store shopping. Just put your hand in the pocket and just, you know, I use a line on my body to, or my arm or my hand to determine, you know, how deep it is. And if it doesn't go past there, or whatever line, then you know those pockets aren't good enough if you want to conceal carry a gun. Most of the time, I conceal carry a Glock 26 in my pocket, majority of the time. When I'm wearing something like this, it's that, either that P P380 or a Glock 42. And in like those cargo pants you saw, I'll often carry that Glock 29. So every gun that we look at that, you know, is a concealed carry pistol, we've actually tried it in a concealed carry position to determine that, yeah, that'll work as a concealed carry gun. Now, I did mention that, you know, jeans can be difficult to conceal carry in, but not always. There's different versions and styles of jeans that actually have deep enough pockets and a little bit enough uh, excess area to be able to conceal carry. And I'm going to bring Hammer out here. He's got a pair of jeans that he routinely concealed carries in, and I'll let you show what it looks like and what he's got carried. Okay, so we've got Hammer out here, and he's wearing, you know, some clothes that he tends to typically wear. It's a, a pair of jeans, and when he bought these, he checked them to make sure that they had deeper pockets and a little bit more you know, flex to them to allow him to conceal what he's got in that uh, pocket there. So go ahead and show what you got in there. An HK VP9, which is pretty close to a full-size pistol, hid in those jeans pants because when he purchased them, he made sure that they had decent-sized pockets. So I'm going to pause. He's got a couple others to put in there to show you what they look like, and we'll go from there. We got another one in there, and you probably can't tell it's there, so go ahead and show us what you got. We got five rounds of 357 Magnum and a Ruger SP-101. We couldn't leave the revolver guys out. You know, revolvers are very common concealed carry weapons. And there's one more that we'll show you that you can carry in these jeans pockets. For the last and final reveal, what's going to come out of that pocket now? We've got an FNS 9C which is getting into the compact territory, something that's, you know, typically carried for concealed carry. So you can see that lots of different kinds of guns, lots of different size carry, it can be easily comfortably carried if you have the right clothing, the right holsters, and the right mindset. And uh, at this point, I'll let Hammer come back off. He's, you know, more comfortable being on the control side of the camera and not the business end of it. So I'll uh, let him come off and we'll wrap this video up. Hopefully the video was helpful in giving you the idea that you can 
within reason carry what you want, where you want, if you're willing to be a little flexible. If you've got you know, dress restrictions, then you may have to change the gun. If you want to be a little flexible in the clothing you choose and you want to spend a little time choosing that clothing based on its suitability, and you can find things that look nice that are suitable, then you'll have a lot of flexibility. And this last thing I'm doing here, I don't have anything in my front pocket. Let's say I was going to be someplace where I was going to be getting up and down a lot, and that continual printing might be a potential problem. You think, okay, well, I can't carry a gun. I've got a tight t-shirt, so I can't really do inside the waistband because you'd see the, the grip. But I can still carry. What I've got back here is a Glock 42 and a Glock 26, and I've got it in that concealed carry underwear. And there's several different variations of that out there on the market that you can use to you know, open up additional flexibility. So it's not all about just inside the waistband in a holster and, or in a pocket. There's lots of different options out there now. The market has really opened up and they found there's a lot of money to be made in the concealed carry market. So there's all kinds of holster options out there. Just remember, cover that trigger. No matter how nice the holster is, no matter how nice it looks, if the trigger's not covered, stop. And it doesn't matter if you've got a revolver like that little SP-101 or a DAO, you still want to cover that trigger. Now, especially with Glocks, you know, the striker-fired guns where the triggers are lighter and easier, that, that's a key piece to you know, safe concealed carry. But beyond that, hopefully you know, this opens up some possibilities for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the, uh, in the comments. And other than that, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.